Hi. So now in this section we will learn about how to access the items of a dictionary. Okay. Accessing the items of the dictionary. We can access the items of a dictionary by referring to its key name which is inside the square brackets what we did in the previous couple of videos. Okay. The same thing we will do here. Okay. So let's take an example. Let's say dict1 is equal to then we will use curly bracket for dictionary. Then first let's say I am using brand. The same example I am taking what we have taken in the previous section. Okay. Let's say uh, food. <coughs> okay. Then comma. Then its model. And maybe the model is uh, eco sports and it's uh, making year it's 2020 okay so now <clears throat> just suppose i want to access the model so i will refer to the key value okay i will refer to the key for getting the proper values let's say x it's a variable and dict1 then square brackets and then just type the key what you want to get the model let's say model so it will give me what eco sports let's print it first now print x you can see eco sports is now in front of me right and there is also one more method so called get method let me tell you another method that is get for getting the same result so let me copy this then I'll paste and just I just need to change this thing x will be same because we are uh, taking a variable name x so dict1 dot get okay and what you want to get you want to get the model right so here we will use the function functionization okay and in this functionization we will use model if i'll run this uh showing me Mm, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's actually this. I didn't comment it. So, the same result is happening here also. The same thing, you are getting value here, right? This is the value by using the key, okay? By using key, you are getting value. But what if I want to uh, get the keys, not the values, only the keys of the whole dictionary so for this getting keys okay uh, let me take the same example copy so here we will just use dict1 dot keys okay and then functionize it if I'll run this you can see there are total three keys in the dictionary first is brand okay second is model and third one is year it is just like the column name a heading name okay the list of the key is actually the view of a dictionary okay meaning that we any changes done in the dictionary will be reflected in the key list you should understand this okay and what if I want to add a new item uh, to a dictionary and see the key list updated as well or not? Okay, so j let's say, let's say here, uh, let's say I want to update, let's say the keys. Okay. Um, same example I am taking brand Ford model eco sports and year 2020 so now let's take an variable X 
and um, wait let me give it a name like car okay it is a good one so let me copy this again let's say car dot keys now okay and uh, if i'll print this a simple one then i am getting brand model and year right what we did in above but just suppose i am updating it like um mm, let's say here car okay one more um uh, column i am giving let's say color okay and is equal to let's say the color is white okay i'm adding one more key and pair to it okay and now if i'll print this updated one then you can see one more column is added so called color with the value white understood so this is all about the keys what about the values this is the key only i want the values too but not the keys so getting the values what exactly value do it actually return the list of all the values in the dictionary only okay and for this if i'll take just suppose um same example and uh, here i'll use x then car dot values instead of using keys so i'll get the same thing ford eco sports and 2020 it's actually the values not the keys okay it's actually a view of a dictionary that just suppose any changes done to the dictionary it will again reflect the value list the same we will do what we did in the this thing let me take um, getting the updated list of keys and values so the same thing we will take x dot x is equal to car dot um values okay and if i'll print this okay these three things actually we are getting right now okay now what i'll do i will add something i will add car okay and uh, on that car i will do some uh, overwriting type of thing so that i could able to know whether it is updated or not so here again i'll take year already i have taken a key name year but again i am taking the same thing and is equal to let's say 2023 okay let me print it i told you already if there are two keys if there are two keys then they will be overwritten okay so let me check if it is uh, like same or not yes they are overwritten right there are totally two keys year name okay so year is now replaced by the new year previously it was 2020 and now it it is 2023 understood simple thing but just suppose what if i want to add something to the original dictionary so let's see if it is updated or not okay you can do the same thing what you did in the above like just suppose let me copy this same thing but here 
not getting it's adding the key pair to original dictionary okay let me paste this and i'll do and we will do the same thing but not the year we will change something okay we will change color to let's say red so red is a string so we will write it in square uh, inverted comma red okay and then yes now we can get red yes red is added the value red is added and the key is color okay or okay so key pair you already i told you now just suppose um you want to get the items so there is method with method items this item method actually will return each item in a dictionary as a tuple in a list okay the thing is you are getting the output in a dictionary format right basically in a tuple in a list this is a tuple because you are getting it in round brackets we have discussed this in the tuple chapter and in between there is a square bracket which is which is a symbol of list so you are getting the item in a tuple a, as a tuple but in a list okay so there is one more method for getting the same um let me paste this so now we will remove this first let me copy this so x is equal to the same thing car dot items okay and if i'll print the car i am getting what i am getting each item in a dictionary as tuples in a list okay it is a tuple and it is the list again the things is in tuples but this time we are using items so that we could get it separately so just suppose if you want to access a certain key value it will be easy for you to refer this thing okay this list is actually a view of item of the dictionary that just suppose any changes done to the dictionary then it will be reflected in the item list only okay and just suppose if you want to change in the original dictionary and see that the item list get updated as well so here for this we will do some different type of thing right we will take the same example car so x is equal to now what car dot items we did it already okay now let's print it the same output you will get now just suppose this is what this is basically before the change right now i am adding one more thing with one more thing i am adding year okay and let's see the items get updated or not year is equal to let's say 2023 if i'll print this x yes it has been updated 2023 is there okay so now you can also update you can add whatever you want you can do it in in dictionary okay and the same thing goes for what the same thing will goes for the value as well copy and then paste and for the value just suppose here i am taking a uh, color and color would be not 2020 color would be red if i'll print x you can see one more column is added so called color and red so the original dictionary is updated as well the list but in the item format 
this is the item format okay and now let's see one more thing if i want to check something or find something chef if an key exist or not or not so for this we will use what we will use in keyword what we have used in the list section in the tuple section plus in the set section all will be the same i am taking the same example but uh, not this delete let me copy this we will take the same example okay so here we are we will use in method for finding a key so just suppose i want to find the model if it exist in the current uh, dictionary or not so now we will look for model so we will use if 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 model okay in what is the name of dictionary car if model in car then just print yes it exist that's it okay so what this function will do it will first check whether the model is exist in the current list so called car or not if it exists then it will print yes it exists so let me run this you can see the function is true so it will in the back code it will give uh, us the boolean output true but we have given a condition if the statement goes true then just print yes it exists so a statement is almost true because model is uh, now in the dictionary so it printed yes it exist that's it okay so this is the simple structure of accessing the dictionary item how you can access it how you can print it you can update it okay a simple thing is there you just need to focus on what is happening here because i know this is little bit confusing but if you will see the video again and again you will get to know the basic concept behind the dictionary okay so that's all for this section i'll see you in the next section bye bye